So we need to talk about Dr. Monty. It's been around about two days since Treyarch dropped the bombshell of the Dr. Monty face reveal trailer on their YouTube channel and I haven't got round to breaking it down and this video is going to be doing exactly that. We have a lot of things that we need to discuss. So if there's anything I don't mention in the video, make sure to drop it down below in the comments but we're going to be going through this bit by bit learning exactly what could mean. There is a ton of exciting things to talk about. First of all, we're starting with the first first few sentences that he mentions in the trailer where he says this is it, the ether, the infinite, the reality beyond, beyond your perception. Now what's interesting is he's talking not only about the ether but also about the forest as well. We've been left in the dark about the forest for so so long since Black Ops 3 Zombies has come out and we're finally getting a brief little look into its meaning. Now all of our characters memories trailers reside in this forest area and we know that this is a area where zombies wander around and they don't seem to attack our characters or seem to interact with anything within that world. They're simply just roaming around, wandering, and it's where our characters are remembering their memories. Now, the forest is important for many reasons. Those we aren't quite sure, but one we need to point out for a fact is that Dr. Monty personally met our characters thanks to the recent trailer showing this here, but this could finally signify a reason as to why the zombies are wandering around, and this could be the fact that the forest could be the ether that he is talking about. As it's known within zombies, when zombies are killed, they return to the ether. And if we look inside of a Gorad Krovi cipher, it states in the Cronorium that to allow quick travel between dimensions, the Keepers created the transference device, which is powered by the ether. The Keepers have placed structures throughout the realms. So the Keepers use the energy of the ether to travel between dimensions. We also know that there is a dark ether that exists which turned the Keepers into Apothecans a long, long time ago. Now aside from that, we don't really know much about the dark ether and how that exists or what goes on with that, but we do see shots of Dr. Monty in a dark, empty and infinitely big room. To kind of insinuate that there is literally nothing in that realm. It is an infinite amount of darkness and emptiness. And as we know from the giant, there is a cipher which reads, When finished, we will return to the house and the infinite. So the starting bits of Monty talking during the blackness could also indicate what the infinite is, somewhere that our characters will be returning to once we've finished and we've done everything in the house. With that in mind, it sounds like our characters will be banished to an infinite realm of nothingness and that's where things could end. I highly, highly doubt that, but going along with what that cipher says and with Monty's speech there talking about the ether and the infinite, it sounds like that could be something that might happen. But with the idea of Black Ops 3 Zombies actually being in a loop where our characters are constantly going and returning back to another round to kill another version of themselves, that could also be another significant point towards the infinite wording that he uses. Now aside from that, we need to talk a little bit about Monty's appearance. Now, I personally wasn't surprised to see that the actual voice actor Malcolm McDowell has been motion captured to look exactly the same as he does in real life in the game. And I'm sure a few of you probably expected Dr. Monty to look a little different. I think he would be a little bit like the Shadow Man, and in a way he does seem to be looking like that, except his clothing is a lot less smart than the Shadow Man, and that's something we need to talk about as well. Now, do you remember all the way back in Origins, there is a red scarf tied around a post just near the main dig site, and what is Monty wearing? he's wearing a red scarf. Now there is no doubt in my mind that those two things are definitely linked. That is not just a coincidence. That has got to be linked and a reference that Monty has been with us since the very beginning. Now some of you may also remember a while back a cipher was found in the Black Ops 3 terminal which mentions of a man wearing a red scarf in a market in Walcourt and tell him the giant is rising. Now sadly that's not actually a reference to zombies and it's actually relating to a conspiracy in the campaign of Black Ops 3. But this is still something that Treyarch would definitely have subconsciously implanted into the game knowing that people were going to take this in multiple references, not only just in the reference to the campaign but also to zombies as well. Now right at the end of the trailer we hear the mob of the dead round music which sent shivers down my spine because I was like hang on a minute that that's that's mob of the dead right 
And there's a few different things that we can gather from that to coincide with why they've put that in. And this could be a potential hint at the idea of the loop that I mentioned earlier in the video. And that in Mob of the Dead, it was the first time they ever introduced a sort of infinite loop into the story. And eventually the cycle was broken. And that's where Revelations could be the exact same thing here. Something that only really made sense when I heard some feedback from other people in the community is that they could also hint at the fact that Monty is in control of the red-eyed zombies because on Gorad Crovey, they're red-eyed zombies and that's when he talks to our characters for the first time. On Mob of the Dead, they also have red eyes and Monty is also wearing a red scarf. Not to mention on the Blundergat in Mob of the Dead, we have a lion head and what can we also see in all of Black Ops 3 zombies? lion heads on the gumball machines and they also have red eyes. I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section about that but even more importantly is his gloves. He is wearing fingerless gloves and who else has worn a very similar pair if not the same pair of gloves in Zombies. That is right that is the weasel from Mob of the Dead. Now could this mean that Dr. Monty is the weasel? Probably not, but there is some very, very strange things going on here. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will think that Dr. Monty is actually the weasel. Now, if we take into the fact that he could be the weasel, then there is some little evidence to support this. The fact that we have the mold of the dead blood vials on Richtofen, the gloves on Dr. Monty, the fact that in the speech of Dr. Monty, he's telling our characters that there's some things you can't change. And the weasel tried and tried to change things by breaking the cycle and when he finally did he was then stuck in limbo because that's not how the events were supposed to ever take place this could be the same situation that's going to happen with our characters here in black ops 3 they are in a cycle and as the cypher in shadows of evil said premise will fail they are destined to fail for then the cycle to repeat itself over and over again with no ever chance of it being broken i believe there is a chance for it to be broken as dr monty goes on to say things are going to get a lot worse before they get better you change the rules and at that point they're looking at takio with the blood vials which means that whenever they went to collect these blood vials after zetsubo no shima doing that has changed the rules and changed the natural progression of how the cycle is supposed to happen richtofen wasn't told to collect those blood vials he went and collected those for the characters out of its own accord and it's for a situation which he didn't like the events of them turning out to be and wants to change them perhaps the events could be that our characters do have to die like i mentioned in my previous video yesterday and he doesn't want the characters to die he wants to live on and that's why everyone has a set of blood vials and then the next speech from Monty says there are certain things that you can't ever change and that's where we see a shot of Richtofen looking down at the summoning key looking almost a little bit guilty of Monty realizing that he has changed something which he shouldn't have changed. And then it ends with Monty trying to bring a moral compass to our characters by saying all he asks is for them to do the right thing, the right thing for everyone. So he doesn't want them to be selfish and go with a decision which is only going to benefit them. They have to do the right thing that is going to help out everyone. And if that means them dying, then that might have to be the case. By the way with Trial, these things are not straightforward. There's going to be a ton of twists and turns along the way with DLC 4 and I'm just so so pumped to get even more information about this as it's nearly coming up to COD XP which is going to be about two weeks time and there we're going to be seeing not only brand new gameplay from Infinite Warfare Zombies gameplay mode as well as DLC 4 Zombies as well so we're bound to be getting even more teasers very very soon so as soon as we do I'll be sure to update you guys but if you enjoyed the video make sure to slap a like rating on it I really would appreciate it make sure to subscribe for the latest Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC 4 information and I'll catch you on another video very very soon.